welcome to our uh, dev start. So in this tutorial, we're going to be building, uh, let's say, a checkout page. Yeah, we can still write in the screen. That's what we're going to be building in this tutorial. We tell them CSS. So if they need to turn CSS, hopefully just dive into it. And you know what? Let's get started. So first, we're going to do is just we're going to be making up the CDN, right? So we're going to so we're just going to head over to like document, create a new folder. What about this checkout? Okay, so inside the checkouts now, I'm going to open up my terminal CMDF. So I want to open Visual Studio Code right here. So code then dot. This is going to open the folder with Visual Studio Code. As you can see right here. Uh, so we are trying to set everything up. Okay, so let's get and create index. Sorry, index dot HTML. Okay, so let's get and just grab this. I just grab this. Copy this. And let's paste this here. Uh, yeah, I don't need this again. So let's save this and let's check if this, if this is actually working. So head over to your folder, open, and it should load. Yeah, you can see it's working because here we have text should be 3XL, the font should be blue, and, the, and, and it should be underlined. So let's, let me say I, I do semi bold here, save this. You can see it is actually very good now. So you actually like to refresh this. You can see it is semi good now. So that is to show you that. Okay, so when CSS is actually working. Uh, so let's just get started. So first we're going to do is just DIV. I, I like to create like a DIV that covers everything before creating the main one. So DIV now. Um, I'm sorry. Let's go up and do this. So I want to put this in like a mobile view. So. I like, I actually just like building the old, like mobile V process. So I'm going to set this to XR. So I'm going to write size 100 to see what I'm doing. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's go to the DIV dots. So what we need is a, uh, is a, uh, let's say shadow. One shadow should be medium. Both rounded, let's say large. Then padding of four. So let me just go ahead and put Write it something here. If I should refresh this, like I see we have this. Right. So right over here, I want to go ahead and do class. I need like padding horizontal of six, padding y of like this is six. And I think I can do something like MX up to I don't know. Just trying to like this is what I'm building for mobile because I think the with is like mobile kind of face view stuff. So I don't know, but I think it's is like mobile first. I think it's like mobile post. So you like build for your mobile screen that you cannot like add your responsibility like, for every screen. For every screen, I mean so I should work. Uh, okay, so we have this. Good. So I'm building this for mobile. So you can see it has been sent out. So the PX is like padding horizontal and padding vertical. So those are the PX and PY. Just like that. So the first one I'll do is uh add the text. I want to go ahead and add the text. Let's say H3. H3 does this should be text dark then I want it to be like text let's say two Excel dots yeah I think that is dots okay let me make it font book okay, so right I want to go ahead and do secure payment so that's what I want to have in phone there so if I should refresh this like I said I have secure payment I think the font board is too much let's just font semi board Secure payments. Okay, cool. And uh, I just do Excel. Okay, yeah. But so it's okay like this. So the next thing I want to do is uh, just write down here. I'm going to have another text. So I'm going to be yeah, the padding top of like four. I need a space. I want to padding like that. The next thing I need is um, another text. So I can just find the let's text Excel for sure. So I want text Excel. So, so let's just do font should be thin. I want a thin font. Okay, so I want to have a credit card. Sorry, credit cards. I'm looking at the design like for my phone, they're trying to beat it up. So that's why. So let's refresh this. I said I have credit cards. And um, I think we'll just like make this. Okay, let's make this LG instead. And we can also make this semi boot. The, the thing doesn't look good. Semi boot. Okay, good. So we have this. 
Um, so literally under the store, under here we want to have uh, like a picture of Visa, Mastercard, or Minnesota Zoo. Actually, you can't see what it is. I'm just gonna add Visa, Mastercard because I actually can't see what is the design. So DIV. So let's go ahead and just click on uh, Visa. PNG. So I want to PNG. This is PNG. Okay. Images are. Uh, okay, this is actually what I want. These two together. So, okay, let me just pick this one. So copy link or copy image address. Whatever to be just I'm just going to do image SLC and see how it looks like. Save this. Head over to this place. Refresh. Uh, so we have this big image, and you can see the background is no. There's still this background there. I don't want that. But I can see like a white background. So yeah, there should not be problem. Let's let's try this. Copy me the address. Paste the save. Let's turn it out. Okay, good. So you can see the white has covered the white. So what I want to do is now is just class. We want to have which like let's say 20 and let's see what happens so we want which be 20 and all let's do 10 and h to be also 10. um let's make which 20 instead 20 and 10. they are not too big okay let's make height let's look fine okay Good. And I can do okay. I can make this like let's say 15. So we just need to like find the one that is actually okay. Okay, good. So let's do some five things. We do objects, it's objects fit or objects cover. So I don't know whether to do that. Let's try object cover. Most events is gonna happen both because we're not like trying to cover any spot. Yeah, so it's still the same thing. So we have this, and we're gonna copy this. This down here, so this is good for the master class. So let's go ahead and look for master card PNG. Master card PNG. Only one with the white background. So this one. Copy image address. And let's replace this. Save. And let's refresh. So you can see we have down right here. And that one is actually small. So, so you can see they are not aligned together. So, once they are like aligned together, so we're going to add flex set to make them align together. So, that is flex. I want to do spacing. So, I want a space between them. X of four. So, I want X. My space is on top of four. Yeah. So, four is too much. Let's do two. Okay, good. So, I'm, I'm thinking of increasing this. So, let's say 20 by 10. So 20 by 10, I don't know. Let's set this one to five. Okay, I think the object cover is, is doing that. Let's do object fit. So I can see that is object fit. And let's do width of, let's say 10. Okay. Okay. So let's just do 15. Let's just return it back because I can't actually see why it's like that. So let's just push this up. Yeah, so let's just leave it like this. But we can just try to reduce this one. Let's say 10. Okay, then, then I'm just gonna remove this to see it without. Okay, uh, yeah, I think it's okay like this. Um, let's reduce the height a bit. So let's say height of 30. Nope. Let's say 4. Okay. Yeah. So I think 4 is okay. Yeah. Or let's just, just return it to 5. Let's return it to 5.
And why that is loading, let's just do objects. I think we do object fix here. Just save this. So let's check this out. Load. Yeah, so this is okay. But for me, I want to switch on my button unlock my phone to see the design. Okay, good. So when that is done, the next thing we need to do is uh so we are done with this part. So next one to do is uh DIV, so that's a pattern of like six. Once that is done, we want to have our span, span dogs, font, let's do semi board. So we want to see text should be like, text should be like large, text should be large, sorry, text should be large then. Uh, yeah, I think that is all. So, lots of like card product name. So let's check that out. We push this. Okay, so, we have a card with us in there. Um, yeah, so right on that below it, once I'm gonna have thoughts to this. Do DIV. Oh, you know what? Let's just leave it like that. So, it's, it's still gonna work. DIV. So, I also have a and input field. Save this. Sorry, refresh. I see we have the input field here. So we need to start the input field. So I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna close this. So I want to do uh class, so want to have padding should be okay. Let us speak padding should be normal. We want to add ring. Let's add a ring to see what is going on. Uh, the button is actually going on. Uh, let's go to this place. Uh, let's go to documentation. Look at this. And let's ask for a few things. No, documentation is like best thing to check for. Input, 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 input. So, uh, try to move for the right. Oh uh, no, that's about to win. I think it's a win. So, then. Yeah, so these are win doors. So, this, this is not supposed to be a win. Uh, Imputes. Um, but I don't know something like BG. I don't wait. But let's say 500. And let's see what we actually get. So I'm actually like we start in the set. We did it now. So we have a background. 500. So I want to go ahead and add the product. Add the product to use the fresh. So I think we have a border or so let's do border. With less than 500. Okay, want to have rounded. Want it to be rounded. And W is full. So I want to take like the full screen. Okay, so this background way, let's pick this 200. All right, good. So I don't go around those to EX of like four and PY of like four. I'm so much less than two. Okay, good. So we've done the one for this power. So I don't go around like the links of this thing. Okay, so we've done this one. The next thing we need is card number. So for the card number, we'll require a like copy the cell to check some Okay. So we can kind of do like text SM here to make a small text, not that type of big text. Okay, now good. So we have small text. So let's get and do work for the card number. So let's go copy everything. 
you want to paste it there. So this is card, sorry, card number. Card number, then we need a placeholder. Placeholder like, so you need to spawn one in four places. So let's not do four in four places. Okay, good. So let's save this and refresh. You can see we have that. So we need a little bit of padding. And PIB. So it's padding top of let's say four. No push, no let's say two. Okay, good. So what that is that uh, I think the species actually not. So let's do four. Okay, good. So let's Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay. The next we need to do is uh, the same thing also, but in a different format. So if you keep talking about it, I'm just going to copy this. Let's try to remove the pieces here. So we'll make it rather deep. So I'll make it deep with flex. So when this is with flex, um, I want to check it out. So I'll, I'll, I'll have to make a deep. That will make that will be a grid, so they can be like uh, practical to each other. So let's go right. Copy this. Copy. I'm going to paste this here. Uh, let's see this out. Let's check this out. We can see I have that. Good. So this is valid. So what is written there is valid true, and I don't think that is right. So I'm just going to do expiring dates. Let's find it then go to the placeholder. Let's do mm, sorry, mm slash y1. So that is one from here. Yeah. So, so refresh. So we have that. Same way we are going to do that. Just copy this code. This detail. Then it's going to be security code. So let's, let's do CD. So CDB is okay still. Then asterisk asterisk. So CDB is 30, 30 asterisk to push. Good. So we have that. So what we're going to do is just add a space in between there. So let's just space X of two. To push. Good. So we have the space. So this is done already. The last we need is a boxing. So we have a boxing. That says checkout. I'll let you pad into so this is padding top of license six. Then I can go down there to the div. So set that div, I need a port. So the button should be background blue 500. Text should be white. Uh, and it is rounded. Rounded. I need a pattern of like two. I think that's it. And let's do checkout. So let's see this and refresh. You can see I have this box here. So what I did here is I'll uh, make it full. Full. So let's make this full. Good. So we've done the simple checkout. Let's say if it's good in mobile. You know, yeah, I can see it's also good in a PC. And this is it uh, the mobile view. Hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time. And uh, yeah, peace.